we know that array can be a member of the structure we have seen this type of example this type of programs in previous session here i'll show you a new concept that is array of structures okay let us let us see this one here i define a structure namely employee and there are two members of the structure the first one is account number and second one is balance after that i have declare an array of structure namely servant with dimension is equal to 5 this means all the elements each and every element of this array named the servant is a structure of employee type that is servant 0 is a structure of employee type servant 1 is again a structure of employee type similarly structure a uh, servant 4 is again an structure of employee type we'll use this concept in this program let's see here in this program i have defined two additional variables one is integer i which i will use in the for loop and second one is a uh, variable sum which is of float type i have initialized this variable by 0 i will use this uh, variable to calculate the sum of balances of five different persons now let us see the program using for loop i have collected the information about account number and balances of five different persons and i have stored these values in respective structures so when i is equal to 0 i initialize structure uh, namely servant 0 when i is equal to 1 will in will initialize the structure servant 1 and so on so after that after filling the all the five structures of the array i mean elements of the structures of the array uh, will do one thing will display the information that is account number and balances of all the five persons and simultaneously we'll do one more calculation that is we'll add the balances of five persons and we'll store that information in the variable sum after that we'll display the total balance using the printf library function now let us see the result just press alt f5 you see here i enter the balance uh, the account number and balance using st uh, first element of the array that is servant 0 so servant 0 dot account number is 101 and i have assigned 1000 to the variable servant dot balance servant 0 dot balance clear this is here i am initializing second structure so 102 will be the value of servant 1 dot account number and 1000 will be the value of servant 1 dot balance so i have filled up all the five structures of the array all the five elements of the array namely servant and after that i have displayed the contents of the array over here is it clear well at last i have displayed the value of the sum variable sum which is nothing but addition of the balances of all the five persons is it clear so using the concept of array of structure you can organize the data in a better fashion and that is the use of array of structure is it clear thank you